to get ready for a race. I'm doing some corner balancing on my 944 here. Um, I I'm, have kind of a low budget way to do it. I use these uh, these kind of balance bars or kind of seesaw beams here that have a ball bearing, uh, a set of ball bearings on the inside and it's got a pad on a, like a pivot for the wheel and then a ball bearing on the outside. And then I have it sitting on just a postage scale. Uh, and then here's like the displays for the, you know, the two postage scales on the side. And so the idea is, is that you raise the car up and as the suspension um, settles, when you lower the car down, the ball bearings roll so that the, the suspension can be fully settled and fully compressed in a static position. And then the postage scales, because they can't hold a whole lot of weight, they're able to, um, you know, hold one quarter of the weight of the car. So whatever the value is on the postage scale display, um, the actual corner weight is, you know, one quarter of that amount. And I have the display set up so I can see them while I'm in the car. This way I can climb into the car. I can, uh, uh, you know, take the car's weight with me in it. And then I use a spreadsheet that I type the numbers into the spreadsheet on the left hand side on the current corner weights and it calculates the cross weights and the percentages and then on the right hand side it tells me what my target is so right now the front left to rear right diagonal needs to have a little bit less weight on it so I will probably pull off the front left wheel and on the threaded shock body you know turn the uh, adjuster down a turn or two and then take a new measurement After the corner balancing is done, I do an alignment with the, the smart strings set up. Um, that's this contraption that kind of hangs off the front end of the car. And it's got two strings that run parallel to the sides of the car. Probably a little hard to see in the video here. I use a, a ruler to make sure that it's measured the same distance away from the center caps and from the sub axles in the rear. And effectively what that does is it creates kind of a, a box or a reference box or a datum plane on either side of the car. I'll show you the other side as well. And then from those straight lines, we can use a little ruler to measure off of the edge of the rim on the front and the rear and figure out our toe in. You know, if the front of the rim is more towards the center of the car, you have toe in. If the front of the rim is, point, is a shorter distance to the string than the rear of the rim, then you have toe out. You know, the wheels are pointed away from the, the center line of the car. And then for the camber, I have a, a bubble lever, level camber gauge. Um, it can also measure caster as well for the front. We don't do caster in the rear, but it's got a little bubble in there on the scale. So, you know, you can see right now I have just about um, negative two and a half degrees camber in on this rear wheel here and again with a little ruler measuring to the edge of the rim to the string on both sides I can figure out the, the toe in.